The world of work has changed dramatically in recent years. And one of the biggest changes is the importance of remote workers. Remote work changes how we go about our jobs. Without the traditional office space, it's more important for leaders to engage remote employees and build a strong sense of team. And as cheesy as it sounds, the key to this is effective virtual team building. Everyone knows tons of in-person team building activities, but you have to get a bit more creative when you can no longer resort to trust falls or the human knot. Remember, if your team building activity isn't engaging, your remote team members can simply mute the Zoom meeting and go back to answering emails. So in this video, we'll cover our top choices for virtual teams building activities. First on the list is called Favorite Things. It's a simple activity, but a great way to break the ice. Likewise, if people are shy or generally don't like speaking on Zoom calls, this is one of the less anxiety-inducing team-building exercises. All you have to do is create a favorite thing topic. Some examples could include favorite singer or favorite thing about working for the company. How specific you get is up to you. Give everyone a chance to answer, and you'll probably learn something new about everyone you work with. Our next activity is birth map. It's another activity for learning more about others. First, open Google Maps or a similar collaborative map and share it with the group chat. Then, invite everyone to put a pin for their place of birth. From there, have everyone share stories about their hometown. If you want a low-effort virtual team building exercise, there's always fun fact guessing games. Have everyone write down a fact about themselves and send them privately to the game leader. Then, either at a separate time or at the end of a work meeting, read the facts one by one and let everyone guess whose facts are whose. Another classic team building option is to organize a weekly game time for the team. Jackbox is hugely popular and has a variety of party games that will appeal to everyone. There's everything from drawing guessing games to trivia murder party, which is exactly how it sounds. However, getting everyone's input is key. To make sure this works, it's important to send out an email or notification at the beginning of the week so everyone can make time in their schedules and vote on what they want to do. Another popular activity is to stream a movie together. Holding a monthly or quarterly movie night will give the team some structured time together that is not focused on work. For this to work, it's best for you to create a list of potential movies to watch with suggestions from team members and have everyone vote on one. Then decide on a time and stream it through a conference call. Or you can do this through Netflix by using Netflix Party. It synchronizes video playback and as a group chat for you to chat in. Netflix Party is free, but it only works in desktop Chrome. So if that doesn't work for you, there's other options like Castle. Of course, there are so many other ways to build relationships with your remote workers. Whether you choose to play games together or learn more about each other's personalities, you'll all learn to communicate better with one another and strengthen your ties. We have more tips about managing remote teams in our ebook, Leader's Guide to Remote Work, as well. The link is in the description. It doesn't matter whether working remotely is new for you or not. There are some great tips for both beginners and people who have done remote work for years in the book. 